Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Cruel Angel, and today I'm going to show you the art supplies and tools I use for my pencil drawing. So let me show you my drawing table first. Okay. I bought this table a few years ago online, and I forgot which website I bought this from. You can draw on top of any table, but uh, it's recommend you get a drawing table like this. Okay. And uh, this part right here, this part right here, uh, it does not come with the table. I had to add this on myself, so I can put pencils, erasers, and all kinds of tools here. Okay. Pretty big, as you can see. And let me show you this lamp right here. When you draw, it's very important that the light in your room is bright enough so you can see. Okay. So I always recommend you get a lamp like this. Let me show you the lights. So light pipe and a light bulb. Okay. So the black here is the light bulb, okay. and the white here, the white one here is the, the light pipe. When I draw, I usually just use the white, the white light 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 pipe, because when I draw, I don't want uh, my paper. When I look at the paper, I don't want to see, see it, my drawing gets darker or yellow because the light bulb okay next the paper I use is the arches watercolor paper now don't let the word watercolor fool you you can use for any type of drawing okay so arches and uh, it's hot press and bright white okay and the size is 22 times 30 inches and here's one sample right here. It's pretty big, as you can see. Pretty darn big. I also have this Bristol board right here. So for those of you uh, who are serious about drawing, at least get a Bristol board like this. Okay. Uh, don't just draw on regular white paper. They're not good. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you the pencils I use. So let me start from here. I have the Darwin Graphite Pencil Set from 9H to 9B. For those of you who don't know uh, those, what those number means, uh, the one with the H are the light ones, and the one with the Bs are the dark ones. So we start from left to right, the lightest to darkest. Okay lightest to darkest so I have 9H, 8H, 7H, 6H, 5H, 4H, 3H, 2H, H, H, F, HB, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, AB, and 9B um, according to professional review online uh, Darwin Graphite Pencil is one of the best brand out there so I bought them, uh, I believe it's 20 in total. I bought them a uh, few years ago online. Okay. And they're not very expensive, but they're not cheap. Let's move on. So I have the Stadler mechanical pencils right here with 2H, HB, and 2B. Okay, 2B. And each one with 0 0.3 and 0 0.5, 0 0.5 mm lens. Okay, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. And here are the lens for review. Okay. And uh, Stadler, uh, according to professional review, is also one of the best brand out there. 
And this grip right here, very, very nice grip. Your finger won't be slipped easily. Very nice grip. And the one I use the most are 0 0.3 uh, 2H and 0 0.3 HB. I use this two the most. Uh, because for uh, realistic pencil drawing, uh, everything has to be very precise. So even even a 0 0.3 is thick sometimes. So and um, this are actually my wing, my main weapon. Okay, I use this a lot more than I use this. Okay, for realistic pencil drawing, mechanical pencils are your main weapon. Okay. Next, I have the blenders. So these are my blending stumps and tortillions. So for the one which is with uh, one side, they are the tortillions. And the one with the two sides, okay, they are the stumps. And they pretty much work the same. Um, and they are very useful. I use them a lot. Okay, Blenders are very, very useful. Um, they will make your drawing look much more smooth. Okay. I actually use them like more than I use uh, regular pencils. Okay, very very useful. Some people use Q-tips to blend, or some people uh, like use their own fingers to blend, um, which I don't recommend. Okay, I don't like Q-tips, and I don't recommend you use your finger to blend. I mean, this here, like you can get it like a dollar or two from Michaels. I mean, and it works great. Very very useful. Okay. Next, the erasers. So I have the regular erasers right here. And you can get this from stores like Staples, Walmart. You can get it easily. Okay. But uh, for realistic pencil drawing, I actually rarely use this. I mean, they're big, and for realistic pencil drawing, it has to be very detailed and has to be very precise so if I want to use them I usually use this uh, knife right here to cut it and then just use the tip to erase it. okay so the one I actually uh, use a lot is the kneaded eraser right here uh, those of you who don't know what uh, kneaded eraser you can make it to any shape and you use this to touch the paper to pick up the pencil particle from the paper okay it's very very useful okay it's a must have for pencil drawing and another uh, eraser I use a lot is the mechanical eraser it works just like a pen like a, or, or a pencil but uh, in, instead of uh, making marks, you're actually erasing. Okay. Use it a lot. And here are the refill. Okay. So these are the erasers I have. And of course, for other tools like pencil sharpeners and rulers, are also a must have. Okay. Lastly, you need a fixative spray to spray on your drawing and preserve your artwork. So this is what I have. Final fixative. There are also a uh, workable fixative, but uh, I only spray when I finish my drawing, so I just get the final fixative. Once it's spray, you can no longer work on your drawing, so make sure you are completely finish your drawing before you spray it. Okay. Uh, for people that uh, do watercolor or painting, some of them they don't like spray because the spray will kind of change the color. But for pencil drawing, it's highly recommend you spray it. I mean, especially for like charcoal and pastel. I mean, if you don't spray it and you just one wipe by Aston and your whole drawing will be messed up. Okay, so it's highly recommend you spray it. 
Okay, your drawing has to be coded to preserve your artwork. One more thing, after you finish your drawing, you need to put your drawing in an art portfolio like this, or put it inside a frame. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Sayonara.